So we're briefly going to have some rays of sunshine through Far Harbour. Today we'll be exploring several residences along Schooner Street. Or Schooner Street. Yeah, Schooner Street, that's it. Uh, I picked it off the Google Maps and uh, it involves three houses and there goes the sunshine. Yeah, the command lasts not that long when you're playing about with it. So this first residence because i was going to name them all individually but i thought it better to bundle them all together give you a real life google maps location uh schooner road is well it's a schooner head road on uh, just south of bar harbor which obviously is this town so i thought that would be a neat thing i'm going to sprinkle that in throughout uh, the far harbor series going into the next one another happy couple one was sitting one was in bed and one was watching tv although the bed still being in the same room? Huh, fair enough. I mean, if it works, it works. And as we cross the road, we can go over to yet another dilapidated house. This one has gun drops, though, which, you know, and an empty teal barrel vase. We've also got an alarm clock as well as uh, a more somber scene of a teddy bear and a small baby rattle. Although, it apparently won't let me take the teddy. Oh, no, it can. You just have to find an angle. And then the baby rattle again at a certain angle. So, uh, yeah, quite the same. Now, this road runs from Beaver Creek Lane all the way down to the MS Azalea? Azalea? Anyways, the whole point about it is I'm amazed that this area is devoid. I said it in a previous episode. I'm going to say it again for anyone new. The amount of unmarked locations is going to blow your socks off because I still can't get over how many there are. But yes, the weather is taking a turn for the worst, so I will catch you all in the next unmarked location. Thank you for watching.